Well, the BMW Sydney Carnival draws to a close in the coming weeks, but not before Saturday Schweppes Sydney Cup meeting. And one of the Victorians who's going up there to ride two key runners across the meeting is Michael Rod, who joins us to have a chat about his ride in the Sydney Cup on Efficient and, of course, the Super Mare uh, Atlantic Jewel in the All-A Stakes. Michael, thanks for your time. Let's talk about the Mare first. Um, how's she going? Yeah, she's pulled up really well after a first up win up there. Um, I galloped her this morning. Uh, she's as, she's as good as ever, you know. She um, she always surprises us the what she can do on on the track in the mornings. And um, now we're really happy with the way she's shaping up for Saturday. The choice to go to the All A's over the Emancipation, 14 versus 1600 metres. Did you have a input into that with with Cav at all, or was it just his decision? Yeah, it was Cav's decision. Um, it uh, wasn't really the ball was in his court. Him and he, Cav would have spoken over with Coolmore, obviously, but no, that was their call. I'm I'm just the pilot. And what about the last run uh, two weeks ago in that Sapphire Stakes? Did that surprise you first up, uh, the way that she just put paid to the opposition and, uh, and tore them apart in the end? What did, you know, she, she was just scintillating. Yeah, look, it didn't surprise me that she, she won the race, but it surprised me in, in just how comfortable she ended up doing it, um, you know, and, and how well she did pull up after that sort of run. So, look, she's, she's a bit of a surprise packet at the moment for us, but, you know, we were expected her to win uh, that race and we expected to run very well again Saturday. Post race, she said that you expected some improvement from her. Have you seen that already? And and, and is there going to be further improvement as she works through the grades? Yeah, look, it's probably more mental. The, you know, mentally she's sort of switching on. It was the first go up there in Sydney. You know, that way of going. So look, she she'll improve a lot both mentally and yeah. I'm, look, it's hard to hard to sort of pick it physically with her because she just she's just so well and and like I said, her work's always a one. But uh, I'm sure she, you know physically she would have got a lot out of it as well. Are there any chinks in her armour? Like, we haven't seen it yet. She's undefeated after uh, after six starts. But, you know, is there any vulnerability with her at all? At the moment, doesn't look like it. Look, if she's got a... You know, this is her stiffest test on Saturday. It's a weight for age race. Um, she's against the, the boys as well as the girls this time. And, you know, if they if it's only a small field and they go slow, that could maybe be, work against her. But that only... You know, as long as I can have clear galloping room, then I can just move her up a little bit closer. Because with her, you can seem to make a couple of runs on her in a race. And, you know, if you find yourself back in a slowly run race, I can sort of whip up and three deep and be up close to the speed and then switch her off again and then wait for the sprint home with the, with the other horses. So there doesn't seem to be a chinking armour at the moment. It's um, it's pretty scary and, you know, it's um, it's very exciting as well. Well, good luck with her on Saturday in the um, All-A Stakes. The old boy efficient. Uh, you've had a great record on him, a Victoria Derby and a Melbourne Cup heading towards the City Cup on Saturday. Scratched uh, a couple of weeks ago from the chairman's. What does that mean for him in terms of his preparation? Yeah, look, it's not ideal, Andrew. Um, he's, he's had a few hiccups up there in Sydney. He hasn't really been able to get out on the track up there yet. But, look, we know he's... Um, Lloyd and Rob Hickmont have a fantastic training facility up there at Mount Macedon, so they're able to keep the work into him. He's a natural stayer. He's one for one at the distance. Um, and you seem to find that with these older horses, they don't need as much racing, you know, as the younger ones do. So, you know, hopefully... Hopefully we can just get a nice run on Saturday and, and he can produce his best. Fingers crossed he does get a run. Um, you know the stewards do clear him, but if he can do that, uh, he's you know he's shown that when he gets up when he gets up to this distance, he's he's very very good. Um, you know it's been a shame that he's had a lot of problems through his his whole career and we haven't been able to probably see the the best of him after his after his Melbourne Cup win. But um, you know it'd be a nice way to sort of to go out on this in the Sydney Cup um, up there on Saturday. Uh, do you get the chance to ride him at all, you know, between runs, or is it only race day that you associate yourselves with him? Yeah, it's only race day. I'll speak, probably speak to Lloyd on Friday afternoon. Um, we'll talk about, obviously, efficient and, you know, how we see the race, you know, we ran. And, yeah, but Lloyd will give me a good idea, but I know how, he, I know how his racing pattern is. Um, I've kept a good eye on him since I've, you know, his whole, his whole career. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a pretty simple sort of horse to ride. So, you know, fingers crossed he's, um, he, can, he can run well Saturday. What were the thoughts going into the chairman's head he got to the post and, and, and run? Was there expectations he was going to run really well in that race? Yeah, they were. Andrew, I had a good chat to Lloyd and he was really buoyant about the way, you know, of his chances. He's, he said the old horse is really, really working well and they're actually trying to keep a bit of speed in his legs so he'd have a turn of foot. So, yeah, it was a shame that we couldn't get there at the chairman's, but, um, you know, Lloyd would have kept the work up to him. He'd, he'd, be, um, he'd be pretty hard fit for Saturday, I'd say. Good luck on Saturday with Efficient and, of course, Atlantic Jewel. Yeah, thanks, mate. There you have it, Michael Rod, who heads up to Sydney with two really nice rides on the weekend. Sydney Cup Day, Atlantic Jewel in the All-A Stakes and, of course, the old boy efficient in the Sydney Cup.